Hello Meisner makers. This week we're taking a look at the row by row strip set for the Sacramento location. If you're new to the row by row program, it is a national quilt shop hop um, wherein you visit participating locations and they will provide you with the instructions and the directions to create a 36 and a half inch strip to go into a row by row quilt. For those of you that finish your quilts um, first and bring them into a participating location, there is a uh, gift for you. And for any of you who visit all four of the Meisner store locations and you pop in to visit our stores and you're the first one to have completed a quilt using our four strips, there's an extra special gift for you as well. So today we're gonna to be looking at the strip set that's available in, that will be available in the Sacramento location. Now, if you purchase the kit, this one is, a very, is very simple to piece, but it gives you some opportunity to personalize. If you're working with the kit, each of the little uh, quilted stop signs is pre-printed with just some fun sayings related to quilting. Now, I chose in my strip set to use a solid fabric instead uh, because I'd like to personalize it to go along with the flavor of the Parisian style fabrics that we're using. So I'll show you some tips for how to personalize that. But before we get there, again, this is a very simple strip set to put together, but it does require that you cut your fabrics accurately. So just a quick reminder on how to work um, properly with your cutting tools. I do recommend that for your project, you're consistent with the brand of rulers that you use for the entirety of the project so that you know everything has been printed the same way. It's not as important to worry about the lines on your cutting mat as it is to be concerned about the lines on your ruler. When I'm cutting, I have my fabric folded and I've aligned the folded edge. I want the side that has more folds to be towards my body. I align on my ruler with the folded edge of the fabric. Okay, and I'm gonna just straighten up this edge. Now again, what I'm looking at is the line on my ruler and the line on my ruler. And cut. So now I know I have a nice squared edge here and here. So I'm now ready to cut the remaining strips. Now I could use the lines on my ruler, but again, on my mat, but again, they are just there as kind of a guideline. It's more important that I'm watching the lines here and here, and that I want my fabric edge to be along the correct line on my ruler and make sure that the lower edge of my fabric is running perfectly perpendicular to this side. So to cut my two and a half inch strip, I've aligned on the two and a half inch line, I've aligned straight across the bottom, and then simply cut. As a reminder, you always wanna close your blade when not in use so that you don't accidentally nick yourself when moving your fabrics around. So to personalize my blocks, you could use fabric marking pens, you could use decorative stitches on your machine, you could embroider your signs ahead of time. I've already completed the construction of my block so I'm gonna use my Destiny machine to scan in my street signs and put in my lettering. So I have my text already input on my screen. I want to embroider the Y seams ahead rather than working with the printed version. Now, in order to get my strip into the hoop, I did need to hoop it um, at a right angle. So in order to get the text positioned exactly where I want it, I'm gonna scan my block. <laughs> So now I have a visual on the screen of what's happening in my hoop. And I can see, number one, that my text needs to be rotated 90 degrees. And then I also need to bring it down and to the left. Just a little bit. There we go. When I'm happy with the positioning on screen, then I'll touch OK and embroider out my design. And we're ready to go.